Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoy the video and you decide to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much. Today, I am going to be putting together my household planner for 2020. Um, the main part, the main planner that I'm going to be using is the Vintage Botanical. It was an 18-month planner that came out in July of 2019. I've taken the first six months out. I'm going to start fresh in January. Um, I do what's called Franken planning, and that's basically where I take different planners and pull them apart and rearrange them and put them back together <laughs> and that's why I like the disc bound system so much and that's also why I like the happy planner so much because they make so many cool accessories and just some really beautiful products and I love using them but I like throwing you know a few other things in the mix and you'll see some of that today so I am going to be using um, in this the household extension as well as the um, home body planner which is going to be my catch-all planner it's going to go in here every month I'm just going to move the month in here every month and I'm just going to jump right in um, I'm going to leave this in here because it matches but, and I'm just going to sneak this home body one in right here and I found these letter stickers and it's like a mint Looking green foil. I don't know if you can if you can tell, but it kind of matches the um, the mint foil that's in the sticker book for this. So I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and use them. I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not, but if I don't, I can always like peel them off, cover them up, do something. So yeah, I am late getting <laughs> all of this done, true to form, um, but I just really, I just kind of enjoyed the holidays with my family and didn't think about really <laughs> much of anything but that, but <laughs> I've been so excited for 2020 to start. 2019 was a rough year. It wasn't all bad or anything. It was just a lot of craziness. And so I'm kind of just hoping for a little reset, kind of put all of that behind us, <laughs> hopefully, and have a productive, healthy 2020. And I'm so excited to dive into these planners. It's taken me so long because I've been looking at printables and just trying to decide how I'm going to do things, which you know I'll probably change it up in a few months anyway. That's okay. I am going to go through here at some point and round all of these corners. I'm just not going to do that right at this moment. It's not really a priority. Okay, these are from the Homebody, um, which is Happy Planner Girl line. Uh, you can still find them. My Hobby Lobby still has them. And actually, they'll be going on clearance soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but that's what like the future log looks like, which I love that they're putting this in planners now. Um, this is going to be like just basically a catch-all future log for me to write things down in. And then this is going to be just kind of a catch-all where I throw everything in. This will be um, one of the first things that I look at in the morning will be this. Just kind of see what I've got going on. I'm going to change up some of this. I'm going to probably cover up the Dubai and Aaron's because I have that covered in my skinny classic happy planner. So we'll see. And... I am going to go back and put some stuff on this week. I just haven't got to it yet. I still got to get my January set up for the Vintage Botanical as well. And I will be filming that because I've got some fun stickers to use. Um, so this came from the B Vintage Botanical, which is 
basically the planner that we're in. And this is January, and it is a monthly layout. And I use the daily task. I'm going to keep using it how I was using it in 2019 because that seemed to work for me to move around sticky notes and decide when I'm going to do all of my chores. Okay, so I'm just going to have January right here, and then I have a folder that kind of matches. <laughs> and then this is the um, household extension, and I believe I've been still seeing these in Hobby Lobby as well. If not, I think you can find them on Amazon and probably on eBay as well. Um, this is the chore section. I'm going to try to customize this to use it. Um, just to kind of have a list of my chores, if anything, I may not like use it every month, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't see any reason in making something like this when I have this to use. So now the meal plans, I did a video on these. I have these little sticky notes I can pull and put when I'm future planning or whatever, just um, different dinner ideas, stuff that we cook a lot. And I've actually got a lot I need to add to it. But um, I will link that video down below. And then this came in the extension, but I haven't really used them. I have a lot of um, options to uh, write down my weekly menu, so I really just ne haven't needed a whole sheet for it, but I have them in there just in case. Now, my budget section. I'm so excited about this because I bought this printable off of Etsy. Not the, the divider came with the home extension. Um, but this I purchased off of Etsy. Now, um, I purchased it from Empower Studio. I will link her shop down below. She's got some really cute stuff. So go check her out. But it was only like, I think it was like, $12. It may have been on sale a little bit, um, but it's so worth it. And what I'm going to show you isn't, doesn't even really scratch the surface. It comes with so much more. I just didn't, I was kind of getting low on paper, so I didn't print everything out. Okay. So Empower Studio, I've got to remember <laughs> to tag down below. Um, now this was just kind of a random sheet that I'm just going to fill out throughout the month and kind of see what my financial routine needs to be and work on, you know, putting a plan in motion for 2020. Now, this cover did not come from Empower Studio. I printed it separately. It came from Shining Mom blog, and it is free. She has them for every month and a whole bunch of other stuff, and I will link her blog down below. But I just really liked it, and it kind of matched the colors of everything, so... I decided to print it on this part. Now, this is the monthly planned budget. I hope y'all can see this good. <clears throat> but there's all the different like section, like um, categories. And then, sorry guys, I've got a lot of like drainage because I'm I've got had allergies, so <laughs> my throat is getting really just scratchy. Plus, I'm not used to talking this much on camera. Okay, so anyway, this is the finance calendar. And she has lots of different variations of these that all come with the package. So you can choose what you want to use. And then here's a month at a glance. And then week at a glance. And I went ahead and printed off, I think, four or five of these. Let's see. I guess four. If I need a fifth, I can stick it in there. And then this is the income tracker. And instead of having it like where I have income tracker on both sides, I went ahead and just left it on the same, printed it on the same pages. Because that way if I need to add to it or pull it out or something, it makes it easier to do that. And that's why I did it that way. And then this is the expense tracker. And this is going to be more of a cash tracker. And then this is going to be where I check uh, track our, you know, our card spending, debit card spending. Okay. Now, 
this, another printable that I printed off that did not come with the budget section, the budget uh, printables, but it is a free printable from Mom Envy, and I will link her down below as well. It says the best way to get things done is to simply begin, and I kind of threw some of this in here and there just for filler and inspiration. Um, but I really like this one. And I just basically printed it out on the back of this, like normal, because it was actually like a letter size printing. And it came out okay, I think. So um, you can also find the links for all of these on my Pinterest page. Um, it's in the board labeled free printables, but you'll recognize them. I, I have quite a few of those pinned of different like divider covers and things like that. Okay, back to the budget planner from Empower Studio. Um, she has, there was tons of different um, savings jars and also she ha um, did a whole bunch of challenges like 52 week challenges and 31 day challenge sheets. I didn't um, print any, any of those out because I'm not going to use them right away but I do plan on using them. But I'm just, I'm telling y'all this was so worth the money. Um, and then this, this cover did come with the <laughs> Empower Studio Budget Planner. This did not. This was another one from Mom Envy. It says it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Now, I put the planner cover on this section because this is like all the yearly stuff that's going to stay in here year round. This is all monthly stuff that's going to probably come out every month and be replaced with the next month. Um, but here's a place like to set goals for the year and just, I mean, where you can break them down by the first half of the year, second half of the year, by quarter or by month. And then this is the annual finances summary, basically where I can see all on one sheet, our income for every month, expenses, savings, and debts. And then this is the yearly income and it's broken down by month and by week. And then like, I guess that would be a total. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this is the yearly expenses at a glance, same thing. And then this is the bill tracker. Now I have quite a few bills I'm gonna be putting on here. So I printed out a few sheets of this. And then this is the debt payment tracker. I think I just did like one of these. Yeah, one of these for now. This is the account details. I don't know. I might put a few of these things on here, but those aren't really stuff I like to have like written out everywhere. Um, this was really cool. A subscription tracker. So you can just keep up, you know, all those little subscriptions like Netflix, Disney Plus, all that kind of stuff. I really thought this was neat. So I have this one printed on front and back. And then a wish list for me to write down all the goodies I want to buy. And then a purchase tracker. And I'm just going to put like major purchases on here. I'm not going to put every single purchase that we make on here. And then this is an online purchase tracker. And this is cool because then, you know, you can kind of track it um, from the time you make the purchase all the way till it's delivered or... Um, you have to send it back or whatever. And then a password keeper. I kind of have a code that I'll use <laughs> to write those down. I'm just going to use it for ones that I refer to often. And then this is the budget page that came with the home extension. I don't know. I may use it. I left it in here just, just in case I decide I want to. And then this was the project section. I love this divider. It's my favorite one. And then these are the project pages that came with the home extension. And then these project pages were bought separately as filler paper. And they can be found at Hobby Lobby. And there's, I'll let you see the different ones that are in the package. There's like several of each color. They're really cute. I find I don't really use them very often though, but every now and then I do. They come in handy. Okay. Now, then back here, I just left until June in here. Um, 
I don't know. I may end up taking it out if any of this gets thicker. Um, we'll see. But right now, I've got plenty of room to grow and stick stuff in here. And that's it. So I will tag the shop that I bought the budget planner from and um, the blogs where I got the free printables from. And also, um, just in case you're wondering, I print my printables on 28 pound um, Hewlett Packard premium paper. I bought the 28 pound because I found it on clearance at Walmart one day and I like it. It's okay, but I think when I'm finished with this ream, I'm going to go back to the 32 pound. It's a little bit thicker, um, which I'm almost finished with this ream. I've been printing so much lately. <laughs> um, and then also I use the HP Instant Ink program with my HP printer, which has been a total lifesaver all around. Um, I print quite frequently, so I do $10 a month. You get 300 pages a month, plus you get up to 600 rollover pages, which is great. And I, a lot of times I don't hit that 300 every month. So I, I have a lot of rollover pages as well. But there's all different kinds of um, different plans you can get. I highly recommend it. I do have a referral link. I don't, you know, I'm not asking y'all to use it or, you know, whatever. But if you want to, it's going to be down below. Um, I just wanted to share that with you because I get asked sometimes, you know, what I used to print on and, you know, and I, I'm, I don't run out of ink. It just doesn't happen. They send me the replacement ink long before I need it. So it's great. I love the program. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. But that is all for this video. So um, let's see. I had some other plan up, planner setup videos, but I'm not sure what order I'm going to post these in. So um, Friday, I'll just say, which is today, which is when this is going to be posted. I'm going to try to get all of them up, uploaded and posted today. That way, Saturday, I can jump into plan with me's because I am dying to put some stickers down in these. I can't wait. So be looking for that. That's what we have coming up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love hearing from all of you and I try to respond within 24 hours. You can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Those links are on the channel page. They're also down in the description. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like to receive notifications. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And that's all I have for tonight. I really hope that you all enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.